looter, female looter, serious looter. Why so serious, bruh? Um, yeah. You know what? No. Absolutely not. We loot and we go. Grab it all. Let's get the fuck out of here. Not gonna deal with it. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. Falcon. Dead state. We are here. Not in the shelter, like I said, if you guys watched the last episode, we finished up a giant map where basically all of our people are completely stocked with items. I can't really carry shit anymore. So I decided to go back to the shelter, drop everything off, and maybe if we had enough time, check out another location the next, um, the same day. On the way back, I realized we probably aren't going to be able to check another location the same, uh, the same day itself because it was getting kind of late. But on the way back to the shelter, I ran into this random encounter that I was not able to kind of dodge like I normally do. And this is apparently an abandoned area. The text itself said abandoned. It looks abandoned. It was kind of like, you know, what's his name? John Travolta in the Simpsons episode, where it's kind of like, Look, that guy even looks like John Travolta. And he's just like, yeah, looks like. That's how, that's what I heard in my head. So either way, we have to deal with this if we want to get back to the shelter. I've never dealt with this before. Um, This is either literally abandoned or there's probably coyotes or something. And either one scares the hell out of me. Well, Abandon doesn't really scare me, but Coyotes does. Especially because we're not exactly in tip-top shape, for one. And number two, if there are Coyotes, we're not going to be able to loot them because we don't have the room to carry stuff back. So I'm a little bit perturbed. I would like to just kind of get to the exit if I could. Could I cheese it a little bit? Could I just run around? Maybe? Let me get Max over here in the start of the party, first and foremost. It's probably better if I just switched over to a one-person party and just kind of scout the area. But, um, you know, that would require strategy. And even though I mentioned doing it, I'm not going to do it because, you know, I'm an idiot. And I like to make things a lot more difficult for myself than I really should. I'm surprised you could loot this over here. Hey, apparently I can leave if I want to. So let me grab these parts. You know, parts are always good. I could get out of here. So did I just kind of, um, built this up for no re- Oh, hey. <laughs> Weird looter. Fuck. Okay, well, I could have gone if I really wanted to. You know, I'm just gonna throw that out right now. But you know what? If it's just looters, I'm not really too worried. I mean, come on. If it was coyotes, then yeah, maybe. With their crazy defense and weapons. But, you know, this guy has what? A crowbar? No, that's a sight. It's like a, a one of those, like, things that you use to, like, cut down crops and shit. Alright, it's actually pretty cool. Alright, yeah, we'll, we'll deal with it. I was gonna just kill him and get out of here. But, you know, if there's only, like, one more other looter in the map, then it doesn't really worry me too much. So, Vic, let's go over here. Would slop you out with Dougie. And switch over to this, and then we just get one attack off in here. Hopefully it hits, it did. Not too much damage, slightly wounded. Let's move you out of the way now, and turn. Dougie, you have a shot here. So let's go into baton mode. I could take two swings with you. Do I want to do that? Um. Yeah, sure, why not? Hey, you actually made him dizzy too. Actually, there's more looters in the map, not just uh, this guy. So I, I hope they're just not, you know, equipped too well. That would be kind of really bad. So, Max. Maximilian, what do you do? Well, you're here. So let's swap you out with... Actually, no. One, two. Oh, I forgot that you don't have this equipped. Oh, it's not going to cost me. It's, be, it's when you switch over from two-handed to one weapon that it costs. I get you. So 95% chance to hit. Enough for the KO. Can we kill this guy as well? We definitely can. And end turn. Let's loot him out. Mind you, I can't carry that much anymore, so we're kind of in a predicament here. I'm going to take this. Fucking <laughs> okay, basketball. Uh, the sickle. Huh. How much does this weigh? Only one? Yeah, we'll take it. I don't think I have a sickle, so it'd be kind of cool. And uh, I think we have enough bike helmets. Let me just grab this for now. Let me grab the sickle. And basketball would be... For morale, we do need morale items. Crackers, food. We gotta take the food, right? That's a given. We'll consider this. We will consider it. I want to deal with the other looters now. I don't want to deal with the other looters, with the other looters now. Crace looter, female looter, serious looter. Why so serious, bruh? Um, yeah. You know what? No. Absolutely not. We loot and we go. Grab it all. Let's get the fuck out of here. Not gonna deal with it. Here's why. You you might want to call me, you know, a coward or something like that. And before I continue this train of thought, let me jump into the shelter because, you know, the loading screen sometimes cuts off my audio. 
All right, you guys, so before, I guess I would continue that train of thought that I had going. You might call me a coward, and you know what? You wouldn't be too wrong. I don't really call it cowardice, though I call it more security. Number one, we already take a few hits in the last map. We were there for a while, so there were a few injuries, nothing too grave. But then we had three people that we had to deal with, and it was going to be three on four, which, you know, we still have the odds, but it's better when you single them out. When you have all three of them attacking one person at a time, you lose a lot of HP really, really fast. So that was part of the reason. Number two is even if we kill them, which we probably would have, we'd probably sustain some injuries, but we would have gotten through them. We don't have enough room to carry all that shit back, so it'd be kind of like a waste. I'm not sure if you could even come back to a random encounter map, so if we kill them, don't have enough, you know, space to bring them back what they had, it's basically just some um, lost cause, right? So, I know it's a lot easier to just call me a coward. Go for it. <laughs> you do as you will. Either way, 13 special items. I like it. 49.5 food, 11.5 fresh, 4.5 fuel, 85 luxury, 17 parts, and then one data item. Alrighty. More importantly, we get to finally heal a little bit too. Did we get any unique items this time around? I want to say that we did. I just don't have them on me. And then it must mean that one of my other people had it because when I was moving stuff around in the maps, it kind of picked more stuff up as we went. So I'm pretty sure it's probably in somebody's, um, or it might just be deposited into the shelter itself. So let's actually take a little quick perusal over here and make sure that everything's fine. Uh, unique items. Yep, there they go. So we have whole bean coffee, the wasp spray, I'm not sure who this would be for. So here's what we do, we dump, actually you know what, let me cut off here. I'm gonna move the stuff that I don't need in people's inventory, fill up my medical kit, and we're gonna cut back in and we're gonna run around, give these special items to whoever needs them, and then we will check out the job board and take off for the next day. So give me one minute here, or actually one second, assuming I know how to edit properly this time. It happens sometimes where it's kinda like, yeah guys, I'll be right back, and it doesn't cut off and I feel like quite the fool. Either way, let's do it for sure right now. Alrighty guys, so I've taken care of the whole shelter, moving items around type of thing. I have a few unique items on me. I have some rechargeable batteries, some coffee beans, and some fine bourbon and the extra spice that we had. So let's go over to Vic number one. And let's see, anything to improve your mood? I believe you need the bourbon, right? So here, have some bourbon. We have two left, okay? And let's see here. Elaine needed sleeping pills, if that's the case, if I'm right. Did she, did she need anything else? Let me see. Deodorant, right? Ah, oh, fuck. I don't think I have deodorant, do we? No. No. I don't think I have anything for Elaine. Which sucks because she's in a bad mood right now. So anything that would improve your mood, I don't need much, but sleeping pills and deodorant. Ah, uh, neither one. She's in a bad mood right now, too. She is um, not in our party because she had a little bit of a falling out with us for some reason. Um, Nothing right now, Elaine. We'll talk later. I had a question for you. Are you feeling better? Better considering the circumstances, and yeah. Are you are your wounds healing up? Lots of aches and pains still. Hope it gets better. Only hurts when I laugh. Good thing we're living in a never-ending tragedy. Yeah, Renee did a pretty good job at patching me up. Um, sure, let's use number one. That's good. I'm sorry. I'm just opening up wounds for both of us. Don't worry about it. Another question, and that's it for now. Okay. So, we're done here. So nothing for her. I guess bourbon is going to be... Mark does bourbon and spices, if I'm right. Is that correct? I don't really quite remember. Let's find out. Mark's in here. I think Mark should be in a decent mood, though, right? And, you know, improve your mood. Bourbon and spices. So let me give you the spices for sure. And then we have two more bourbons left, and we have coffee beans as well. You do chocolates, and what else do you do, Anita? Like, I know she does chocolate, but I, didn't, I never checked the second item when it was. Um, is there anything you'd like me to look out for in the field? My drinking days are over. Chocolate and... Deodorant. Yes, okay. So, let me give a few batteries over here to Ellen DeGeneres as well, because he was in... Well, we haven't really given him anything before, right? So... Here's some rechargeable batteries. Thanks. It gets so boring around here sometimes, so playing games helps. Wish my phone worked, though. Yeah, this guy. All these, you know, things that he wants. Oh, yeah, well, oh. I wish my phone worked. Who are you going to call, bro? Who are you going to call right now? Your parents? I thought your parents are dead. Sorry, too soon. I know. <laughs> I know. Here's some more rechargeable batteries. We have one more of those, and then we also have two bourbon, one coffee bean. Um, For the coffee beans, I believe it is... Renee. 
Anything that would improve your mood. Coffee beans, there you go. And then... Rechargeable batteries we can give to Doug or to Oscar, and we have the bourbon as well. Let's see here. What do you need, Joe, again? You need hot sauce and chocolates, right? I don't have either of those. Davis needs deodorant and... I'm not sure what the item was. The other one was. Ah, uh, ba 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 Deodorant. That's the only thing you need? Oh, coffee. Maybe? Is that what you said, coffee? Yeah, coffee. But I gave the other beans to um, What's-Her-Face, so... I'm sorry, my man. Nothing for you. Have some batteries for Doug. And then we have the bourbon. Does, um... Is that for Max as well? Let's see. Here's the rechargeable battery pack. Bye, Doug. And finally, two bourbons. So, we could drop one more of those to Vic, if it comes down to it. And... To Mark as well. Max needs sleeping pills. I forgot what the other item that Max wanted is. Is he much... Does he look like a boozer to you? I think he looks like a boozer to me. Sleeping pills? That's it. Just sleeping pills. Okay, let me ask you a question. How about that? I don't care. How did you get here? How bad is it out there? What would you say your specialties are? This is a waste of time. I can smell them out there. It just makes me want to grab an axe and run out the gate. <laughs> uh, good idea. Let me get a group together. Fine, Max. You're not really much of a chatty person, but that's okay. As long as you kick ass in the field, I don't give a shit who you talk to out here. So with the bourbon, I guess we go to Vic, and we hold on to the extra bourbon for now. Might as well, right? We never know who else is going to come into the colony. Not the colony, but the shelter itself is going to require some bourbon, so... There you go. You're welcome. See ya. We're done. Alrighty. So that was worth it, just to give a little bit of morale pluses, hopefully. And then you go back over here. I equipped the hard knuckle gloves, by the way, on Walter. And then the arm guard is on... Max, so that's a pretty good setup right there, I would say. That's about it. Let's go look at a job board and then call it a night. I don't think we're going to go and travel out anymore just because um, it was kind of late by the time we got here, especially with that um, random encounter. 18 hours for the infirmary to go up, and let's see. Elaine is still unavailable for 16 more hours, so yeah. I just want to take a little peruse over there. Nothing really I want to switch around. I want to get that infirmary up and running as soon as possible, so hopefully it happens soon. Some of the things that I've been reading in the comments, people have been telling me to focus also on trying to get the recycling thing. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's a station or whatever, but you can recycle extra weapons and extra armor into parts, which you could then use to, you know, you know, work on the fence and build other things. So, yeah, we, the recycler is kind of really important. Also, the there's also another one that basically makes it so you use less fuel per day for the generator, which also sounds pretty good. So we got to keep an eye out for those, but after the infirmary. Um, go to bed and end of day, yes. Okay, hey, look at this! Morale change 52, we're on, we're at negative 82 now, so we're getting close to the positives now. I'm happy about that. So let's see here. Food gain, 11.5. Preserved food, 49.5. We have 424 food. Did we bring in more food than we used up? We did. We used 42 food and we brought in, I would say, 60, right? 61. So definitely good. Our food is going up. Morale bonuses, as you can see over here. Morale gained, luxury items, 93. Negotiation, negotiation bonus, 10. Found food bonus, 20. Maintenance bonus, 3. Working toilets bonus, 5. And then generator, 20. And then in terms of the moods, we have three people with good moods, which is nice. We have three content allies. There's still at least six with an okay mood. And then we have one person that's still unhappy, which could be Elaine or Max. I have to be imagine it's either one of those two guys. So, yeah, we're still looking pretty good doing morale. We're going up, which is the <laughs> place we want to be going. And then antibiotics remaining 18, and we have 29.5 fuel. Good. <clears throat> so let's see here. Renee, um, about Getz, you have a moment. Don't start on Getz, Renee. He is a valuable member to the fucking party, okay? For you, of course. Look at this guy. Slick Rick over here. He won't really let me look at his wounds, I just want to help, but he just tells me to get lost. I'm really worried about his physical and mental health. Maybe he shouldn't be taken out of the shelter until he's feeling better? Leadership. I'll take your advice into consideration. Thanks, Renee. I'm going to use that one because it lets me bullshit her and keep Max in the field because that motherfucker is not going anywhere. He's just a zombie killing machine. That is all Max is. Don't tell me otherwise, Renee. You're not the boss of me, baby. You're welcome. You take it easy on yourself too, okay? See ya. She walks off. That's it. Alrighty. So, um, Elaine is still considering, I think, leaving, right? I mean, <laughs> I gave her a 24 hours to kind of make up her mind. 
So I, I doubt he's going to leave, right? I mean, is that possible? Can that happen? If that happens, I'm going to be kind of really upset. Because it ma it just means I made the wrong choice when she came up to me and talked to me the other day. But how's her health? 100? Good. Good, good, good. So I think we're ready to hit the road. Let me just look at a job board and we are out to explore once again. Job board. Infirmary. 14 more hours. That's going to get done in the next day. Not today, but the next day. Elaine has no job. Hey, are you ready to come to the party? No. Not in the party mood, huh? Okay. What if I remove Doug off the party? Ah, there we go, Elaine. She's back. Okay, good. Hey. Um, apparently she doesn't need 24 hours to think about it. She did. She was too much of a bitch to come over and tell me, Hey, you know what? Let's let bygones be bygones. So, luckily I did check the job board and she's available again, so good. Elaine's back in the party. That means Doug... You could go and start building infirmary again. It's going to drop us at 12 hours, meaning we're going to get the infirmary up and running by, by the next day. So this will be the last day. Next day we should have the infirmary. I'm excited. Now, really quickly, how's our fence doing? Mm, pretty good car repair, refrigerator repair, toilet repair, building, the recycler. That's the one that we need, apparently. Mechanical skill, 2 out of 6, and we need parts. We're missing 13 more parts, so if we get the parts available for this, this is the next thing I think we build, more than likely. And, uh, alrighty, so, Doug, you just work on the infirmary, dog. So, Walter's in the party, Elaine's in the party, and Max and Vic. Melina has no job. Oh, hey, you're available now. So... Let's see, do you do anything crazy over here? Oh, Watchtower, you are a good mechanic. A really, really good mechanic. You're an aided mechanic? Holy shit. So you can kind of get us, you could help us get this generator or recycler up and running, assuming we get the parts. Good to know. Um, just help out with the infirmary. It's going to drop us down one hour. So more than likely, it means that we'll get it done by the end of the quote unquote workday. So yeah, just do that. Do we need any sort of people working on custodian? Not really. Ryan Michaels, you keep doing your English teacher shit over here. You're unavailable and. Melina, I thought I just said infirmary. There you go. Party, party, infirmary, everybody else. Party, unavailable, English teacher. We're good. So, let's get this show in a row, I guess, right? Let's get on out of here. And everybody's properly equipped. I made sure of that between episodes because I don't like to, you know, bore you guys too much. Or actually, when I have to do it in an episode, I do cut it off just because, you know, I'm pretty sure it's not too exciting to just watch me as I buffoon around the inventory screen, moving stuff around, and trying to, you know, figure out whether two is more than three. It, it's not, by the way. It took me a while to figure that out. Alrighty, guys, so, 8 o'clock in the morning. We are going to go straight up north over here, which is basically where we've been trying to head to. That's where we were heading to last time, but we ran into the Serpent Street instead, and I decided to check that out, because why the fuck not, right? But this is basically the ultimate goal up here. People have been telling me to go up here. So, uh, I'm not sure what to expect. Usually when people tell me to check something out, it's usually going to lead to a really bad time for me. Just kind of like when people tell me to check out the church uh, on my beta run-through. Which I haven't really checked out here, have I, old church? Just because I know what to expect, I've been trying to avoid it because I know what's in there, so... It wasn't too much fun in the beta run. Anyway, it was just basically a bunch of zombies inside of a church. But in terms of um, looting, it was kind of like, you know, not really that great items, but... You know, we'll check it out at some point. What I want to do is actually check out new maps right now because that's what's kind of giving me more fun in the game. So... Let's go up here now and see if we could kind of um, make it there and back in one turn. I, I We should be able to, right? But let's see. We start off at 8 o'clock. So as long, I just want to make sure that we're kind of getting the right time in between traveling. So we're looking at what? Maybe 12? Oh, hey, here it is. Oh, Park Life Clinic. So it's a clinic that people have been telling me to go to. I'm excited. I mean, I guess we're going to probably find some antibiotics, which is good for Melina. Not sure we're gonna find something else though. I mean, food wise, it might be kinda low. Hmm. Alright. Well, the problem with food too is that if we don't bring enough food in the day to the shelter, then we take a morale hit for not bringing in enough food. So, you know, I'm a little bit wary about it, but, you know, why not? So, 1232 meaning it's gonna be like roughly four and a half hours to get here and then back. That's gonna be more than enough time. So, yeah, let's go check it out. Alrighty, guys, and here we go. Let's see here. What do we have ahead of us? Zoom out here a little bit. Do the same old perusal of the map. We have a little bit of a playground of some kind. Another exit over here. I just saw blood on the map. Oh my lord, it's kind of a big-ass map. So there's at least two exits over here. 
Bodies just kind of strung about. Holy shit. There is an ambulance. Is this the big... Now what is this supposed to be? Java Manatee. <laughs> kind of like it. Java Manatee, there is also... My lord. 7-Eleven of some kind. There's a door, like a car parked in front of the entrance there to keep zombies out, I'm pretty sure. Probably other looters. Oh boy. So this isn't locked though, right? No, you could come in through here without actually causing a scene, causing too much ruckus. And this is, um, what is this? Is this going to be the... Oh, there's like a Kentucky Fried Chicken of some kind. So we could have, we could still find some food, which is pretty good. Where's the clinic though? I mean, we did come in for the clinic, right? Is this it? All dead inside? It's a really small clinic if that's the case. It must be the clinic though, because there is a little bit of a gurney here and then, yeah. Huh. Well, I guess I wasn't really, I shouldn't be expecting too much. It's a clinic, not a fucking hospital. I mean, it does have a little bit of a variation to it. Alrighty, well, there you go. So, let's go back to my party here. Everybody's ready to go, Elaine. I got you equipped and everything. We should probably have you reload now. Reload now. Better now than later. You're fine with this, and you're fine with this. So, I'm expecting zombies. So I should probably go with... Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Set some blunt weapons up. And I'm not, I'm not going to start sh shooting anytime soon, so let's um, start off with the blunt weapons. And then we'll go into shooting if we have to. Not sure what to expect over here. Alrighty, so lead party is going to be Max. Vic is still 10 HP under his limit. Kind of a shame, but okay, it is what it is. And what are we looking at here? Is my Z key on? Something I always got to ask myself. Is the Z key on, Falcon? If it's not, turn that shit on, dog. Make it easier for yourself. So what are we looking at here? Zombies? Uh, looters? I mean, what, what do I prefer? Well, I prefer... Zombies, if I want to have an easy time. Looters, if I want to have a fun time. Now, the fun time is fun, but it also, you know, leads me to possibly risking debt. And I'm not crazy about dying. <laughs> Obviously, I don't think any of us are. So, I mean, we do, we do have that. But at the same time, looters do, you know, make the game a little bit more fun for me because it actually it forces me to kind of play a little bit more strategically. And then zombies is just kind of monotonous after a while. I was kind of like, ugh, you know, I know what to expect. So stop forcing me to do it. If I had to guess, maybe looters though, just because, you know, it's not a hospital. In a hospital, I would expect a lot of zombies. In a clinic, probably not really. Berry bush, we have wild berries. Good. Alrighty. Nothing wrong with those bad boys. Fresh food is always good, especially back at base. We have a dumpster over here. Don't expect to find anything too great, but I'll take this for now. The instants could go fuck themselves. And it's locked. And we have a vehicle over here. There's a bunch of dead bodies thrown about, but those are just part of the environment, I, I hope. <laughs> I really hope. Got some jerky Twinkies. We're going to face through that car because, you know, fuck matter. <laughs> Apparently so. Dead man. Got a taser, and he's got a few, you know, bullets. What's going on with your leg over here? <laughs> what did you die in a fucking ballerina pose of some kind? I'm just stretching out, dog. I'm not even dead. I'm just, you know, doing some calisthenics over here. Okay, well, you know, good thing to stretch it out. Before you do any sort of, you know, strenuous activity, you do want to stretch out for sure. We have another dead looter over here. Not sure what to expect. Crackers. Oh my lord. This guy just got fucking dragged across. So what did this? Zombies did this? Did other looters did this? I'm not sure. It's hard to say. <clears throat> I can tell you there's gasoline in here and I want that. So, I will take it. Kentucky Fried Chicken. So remember, you remember our rule of thumb, right? We don't... We don't go inside of any place until we've cleared the streets out. That's always the first priority. We don't necessarily want to get surprised by enemies, so... We clear out the streets and then we go into the buildings themselves. That's the rule of their thumb here. Um, that's Falcon's rule anyway, but I'm pretty sure it's mostly common sense, and I'm going to say it's only common sense because people have been telling me in the comments, like, Falcon, it's actually a really good idea that you're doing, so... I would just like to mention that that was my own idea, so for once, you know, nobody had to be like, hey, idiot, do it this way. It'll make it easier for yourself. I was just able to figure out by myself, which is, you know, pretty good. It's like a feather in my cap. <laughs> I'll tell you this much right now, there's not too many feathers in that gap. I don't really want those insects, thank you very much, sir. No, sir, I don't like it. Any Ren and Stimpy fans out there? If you're a Ren and Stimpy fan, you probably know what that's from. If not, then you know what, dude? What are you doing not watching Ren and Stimpy? Well, I guess, you know what? I shouldn't go in here. <laughs> I'm already going back on my fucking rule. 
Um, if you haven't watched Ren and Stimpy, then, you know, it's probably because, you know, it's an age thing, generation type of thing. I I didn't watch it too much growing up. I was more of a Beavis and Butthead type of guy. Oh, I'm so happy about that extra medical satchel. You don't even know how happy I am about that. That means we could have three medics in the squad. I'm going to give that extra medical satchel to um, Vic. Definitely. I'm going to have one for Walter White, because I have a few medic skills on me. I'm going to give the other one to... Well, the other one's already on Elaine. And then the other one is going to be for Vic. I don't think Max needs one, because Max is usually the one getting hurt by tanking our hits. So it's not too... Such a great idea to have him essentially, you know, waste turns healing when, you know, we could heal him. While he's over here doing some crazy damage. Alrighty, so the outside streets look pretty safe for now. <laughs> it's a big map, so, you know, I'm not, I'm not gonna jump to any conclusions, but... For now, it doesn't seem too bad. The bodies all over across the map do scare me, though, but... Dumpster, we'll see how that works out for us. We'll grab this, this, and this, and the insects. I don't really need them. You know, I've been playing this game for so long that I should probably have checked by now what the insects are for. I'm pretty sure there's gotta be a reason for them to exist, right? They're not just there just to fucking be there, I would imagine. There has to be some use to them. I mean, it's probably not a great use, but... Maybe with a certain, you know, lab in your shelter, you could use the insects for something. I'm sure you guys will let me know if you haven't already like a million times and I somehow keep missing it. I'm not excited about the lack of gasoline in these cars, though. That much I will tell you. Okay, so we're done here. My lord. All right, so most of the bodies kind of hang out over here, too. <laughs> I guess people were just so crazy about not getting their Java rush anymore. That's what caused this whole mess. Now, I wonder if if I go into, like, attack mode, do you think I would be able to trigger or at least try to get an idea as to if there's any enemies in this map? Let me try it out. Let me go into attack mode. Huh, nothing. I mean, that's not a end-all, be-all thing. It, it could just mean that we don't see anybody in our line of sight. <clears throat> Nor has anybody alerted themselves to us, so that's the reason why it's not showing up. But sometimes you could do that, and it'll show you, like, oh, yeah, there's so-and-so in the map. Watch out. Okay, so far, empty map. Gasoline, that's what I wanted to see. Thank you. Alrighty, so this is the entrance to this 7-Eleven over here. And with that, we have now cleared out the entire map, right? In terms of um, the locations not inside the buildings. So, the outside seems relatively clear. So here's what I propose we do. I propose we come over here. We're going to probably come into this place first. This has a door that's locked, locked, and unlocked. So, we come in through here, where it's unlocked. So we don't have to necessarily break it down, make any noise, and alert people to our location if there's anybody here. Second in order of business, we go into Max, and we preferably switch over to Elaine. Elaine, I'm going to give you all the stuff that I picked up over here. You might not be able to carry all of it, which would make sense, but... I'm going to hold on to the medical satchel because I'm going to give that to Vic. And this as well. Let me hold on to this and let me give you this stuff for now. Oh, we can't carry that much. It's the gasoline, right? More than likely it is. So take that. And take all this shit over here. Take this, 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 and this. That should be just about it. This will be for Vic, and I'll hold on to the gasoline because you can't carry that because you can't carry too much. Vic, welcome to the medical satchel club, my man. I'm going to have to, I'm not sure what to remove right now. The shotgun shells, I guess, would we'll probably have to remove. So we place that over here. Place this in here. Place that in that, and then coating 12 of 20. That's not too bad. It's not too bad at all. There we go. So that's going to be Vic, and we're fine. So... Now that we've done that, we're going to call it an episode here. I'm sorry to do it in such a way, but I feel like the video's gone on long enough. Tune in next episode, we're going to find out what's inside the buildings. I would be kind of surprised that there's nothing in here. I really would. But either way, we're going to find out. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave a thumbs up, leave a like. The support does mean a lot. Other than that, I will catch you next time.